Good morning, class. Uh, here we are starting exercise number 2.4. In the previous classes, we have completed 2.2 and 2.3. Now, today we will, discuss, do, uh, we will solve the uh, questions of exercise number 2.4 and 2.5. In 2.4, what we have to do, we have to simplify the questions. And uh, before starting the solutions, uh, we have to repeat or recall the laws we have studied in the previous class. Uh, the three laws of exponents we have studied, in which we studied the, the number one was uh, if the bases are same, powers will be added. Like if we are having two same bases with different powers, a power m into a power n will be equals to a power m plus n. Like bases are same, powers will be added. This was the first law. The second was for division function. If the bases are same, powers will be subtracted. Like a power m upon a power n. As the bases are same, their powers will be subtracted. So we have to subtract m minus n. The powers will be subtracted. Same as the third one was there. If we have two powers like a power m having a whole power n. If we have power over power. We know that all the powers multiplies together. Means powers into powers multiplies together. So what we had done, we had multiplied the powers. A power m into n is equal to a power m multiplied by n. The next, today we have another law according to which if we have, then the fourth one we can say law of power of quotient. Like if we have a upon b, as here we have studied, the bases are same. What we will do if the bases are not same, like a upon b, having a whole power m. Today we will study this law, a, a upon b having a whole power m is equals to a power m upon b power m. What this means? It means that, suppose if we are having a question to simplify, like 4 upon 5 having a power 2 or square, how do we simplify it? We will apply this power on every term inside the bracket. This one I have told you earlier, that if we have a power out of the bracket, the power means, the whole power means, you will apply this power on each and every term inside the bracket. This 2 will be applied on 4 and 5 both. How do we simplify it? It will be solved as 4 power 2 upon 5 power 2. Which will be further solved as 4 square will be equal to 16. And 5 square will be equal to 25. So what we have to do today. We have to use this formula in the exercise. Like if we have 2 different bases. Having a whole power, the power will be applied on both of the terms inside the bracket. Now we are having some of the questions of this exercise. See these questions. The very first line, if we have a question 3 upon 12 having a power Q. How do we solve it? Before applying the power, if there is something possible in the bracket or inside the bracket, which we can simplify or which we can cancel, we can cancel them. Like 3 upon 12, can we cancel it? Yes, we can cancel it by 3 as 3 was a 3, 3 was a 12. So the next step will be 1 upon 4 whole power 3. Now we will apply this 3 on both of the terms inside the bracket like 1 q upon 4 q. q will be applied on both of the terms. Next step we will apply q means we have to simplify the power. 1 will multiply 3 times we will multiply 1, multiply the 1 or multiply the 1. 1 q means 1 multiply the 1 multiply by 1 divided by 4 q means 4 multiply by 4 multiply by 4 which will be equals to multiply by 1 1 are 1 1 ones are 1 it will be equals to 1 upon 
4 4 is a 16. 16 4 is a 64. It will be your answer. That we have first we cancelled the values, then we applied the power. After applying the power, applying the power, we had solved the questions. Same as we will do another question. The next one, like if what we will do as we have another question which will do, what we will do if we are having the power with negative sign. We have studied about the positive value or the positive power but what we will do in the situation if we have a power with, it, with negative sign. What we will do whenever we have a power in negative sign. Whenever we are having the power in negative sign, we have to convert this minus power into plus. How do we convert this minus? How do we make the minus negative power into positive? What we have to do, we will reciprocal, we will do the reciprocal of the base. Or we will shift the denominator to the numerator or numerator to the denominator. Like if it is A upon B will turn into B upon A. Simply. And the power has been changed into negative to positive power. A upon B become B upon A power M will be equal to not the M on both of the terms. B power M upon A power M will be the answer. You can see another example like if we have L upon M which is a question of your book or the exercise power minus 3. How do we solve it? As we have seen, we have studied if the power is in minus, first we will convert the minus power into plus. So how do we convert it? We will convert L upon M become M upon L. L upon M turns into M upon L. We had reciprocal uh, the basis now power become Q and this Q will be applied on M or L board. M power 3 upon L power 3. As these are the known real numbers, so they could not be solved further. If we are having a value like 2, 3, 4, 5 and having a power, then we will simplify the powers. Otherwise, the basis remains as it is. See another question. Question number 5 we are having from the exercise it is 8, a square b upon 3 c d whole power minus 2. How do we simplify it? The very first thing we will convert this minus power into plus as 8 a square b upon 3 c d will turn into 3 c d upon 8 a square b whole power become plus 2. Minus 2 converted into plus 2. Now what we have to do? We will apply this square on every term inside the bracket. Like 3 square c square and d square. Upon 8 square a. A has a is having square already having a square on it. So, we know that powers into powers multiply together. So, we will write down 2 multiply by 2 and b power 2. Next, we will solve this value as it is a non real number. So, we will simplify it. 3 square. 3 square is equal to 3 is a 9. 9 c square d square upon 8 square. 8 square is equal to 8 is a 64. A power 2 to the 4 and B square. It will be the answer. The last question from this exercise we are having. It is question number 10. And uh, this one is minus 30. X power 10. Y power 8. Divided by minus 5. X is Q. Y square. Having a power 2. What we have to do as we have studied inside the bracket, if 
something is going to be cancelled, maybe cancel it. Plus, if we are having a single term, up and down means numerator and denominator both are having a single single terms and both are having a minus sign. So minus to minus will be cancelled. Minus minus cancelled, and then we are having 30 x power 10 y power a divided by 5 x power 3 y square having a whole power 2. 5 also 5, 5 6 are 30. It will be cancelled. Furthermore, you can see that these are the same bases. As in the previous question, the bases are not same. So we had applied the power directly. Now, but here we are having the same bases. If the bases are same, their powers will be subtracted. So we will subtract their powers first, then we will apply the whole square. 6 x power 10 minus 3 y power 8 minus 2. Having a whole power 2. Now solve the bracket first. 6 x power 10 minus 3 will be equals to 7. y power 8 minus 2 will be equals to 6. Having a square. Now we will apply this square of all the terms. How do we apply? It will be equals to 6 square x power 7 multiplied by 2 and y power 6 multiplied by 2. Next, 6 is square, 6 is a 36, x power 7 to the 14 and y power 6 to the 12 will be the answer. Furthermore, the remaining questions are all, all of the remaining questions that I didn't solve here, all are same, having the same method. You will follow the questions, you will follow the method and then simplify it. Now we will start exercise number 2.5. Now we will start exercise number 2.5. Furthermore, in the same ex in this exercise, we have to simplify the questions again, but having different type of questions. What is the difference before starting the exercise? See some of the things. This is a symbol. We all are aware that this symbol is known as square root. It is known as square root. But here we are using another word for square root which is known as radical. The square root, this symbol is also known as radical. And whatever we are writing inside the radical is known as the value which is right, which is which we are writing inside the radical sign is known as the radical. Can means the symbol. We already know about that. This symbol is known as square root. And plus uh, the new uh, for the next name is radical. This sign is also known as radical. Whatever we are writing inside the radical, whether it is a number like it is twenty five, so this value is known as radical. Means the radical of this value uh, of this question is x y. If someone asks you what is the radical in this like if we are having 2 or we have 3 root 5. So what is 5? 5 is the radical or, radical or you can say if someone asks you what is radical you will say the radical is 5. You may have in, uh, in the question in the exercise in the exams you may have an MCQs related to this one that in this value the radical is dash. So what is the radical? The radical is 5. So you must know that what is a radical? Radical is known as the value which is written inside the radical sign. Okay. What uh, we have to do uh, using the questions having involving a radical sign or the square root, you must have to memorize the perfect squares. What are the perfect squares? Means like 4 is a perfect square. 4 is a square of 2. Same as if we are having 9. 9 is a perfect square of 3. So, uh, same as we have the square roots or the square values. We have to memorize them all. At least at least till 1 till 15 you have to memorize all the uh, numbers which are having which are the perfect squares. Like 4 square is known as 16. 5 square is known as 25, 
6 square it is 36 7 square 49 8 square 64 9 square 81 10 square 100 and onward you have to memorize all these values as a perfect square and if I am having a you value root 25. How do I simplify that? I know that 25 is a square of 5. So how do we simplify it? We will write down it as 5 square. In place of 25, we can write down 5 square. Next step, square and root will be cancelled. And then we are having single the value left as 5. So you have to memorize the values which are known as the perfect squares. First of all, uh, next, after memorizing the uh, values, see the questions that how do we solve uh, the questions which are having our radical signs. The number one, we, you are having root of 169. Simplify. 169. Uh, if you are, you have memorized, if you know about the word, the number 169, you uh, must remember that 169 is equal to 13 square. 169 is a uh, perfect square of 13. So we can solve it directly or otherwise if you have a difficulty in memorizing the number, you can take out the LCM of the value. If the values are not a perfect square, then we take out the LCM. 169 is equal to 13 square, square by root will be cancelled and the answer will be 13. The second question, if we are having, having some of the different rules, what we will do if we are having the same radicand? If we have to multiply the function, the values and they have the same radicand, how do we solve it? First, you will make a single root, then write down both of the values together, 12, multiply by 12, it will make a pair, or 12 into 12 will be equal to 12 square, or square by root will be cancelled, both of the methods you can use, means whether you, can, you are using the pairing method, means you are making a pair and the pair will be out of the group, or if you are taking the square, square by root will be cancelled, so it will be equal to 12. As it has made a pair and the pair will be out of root. So the answer will be 12. Same as if you are having root of A, multiply by root of A. The same radicals here we are having, so answer will be A. How it will be? Means if we are making a same uh, single root, root A into root A will be equal to root A into A. It will make a pair and the pair will be out of the root. Or the square will be as A into A will be A square. You can write down A square. Square value cancel. And then answer will be A. Whether you are using the square method or you are using this method, both are correct. Next one. What we will do if the radicals are not same, like root of 14 into root of 21. Here we are having the same radicals that we have converted them into the single root. Now what we will do if the radicals are not same. Solution make a single root 14 multiplied by 21. As 14 and 21 both are not a perfect square. If the values are not a perfect square then what we have to do? We have to take out their LC. 14. We will take out their LC. We know that 2 7 is a 14 and then 7 ones are 7. And next we will take out the LCM of 21. 3 7 is a 21. 7 ones are 7. Now what we have to do? We have to write down the factors of 14 and 21 inside the radical sign. So it will be equal to root of 2 multiplied by 7. 2 7s are 14 into 3 multiplied by 7. 3 7s are 21. Now if we see the uh, question, 
we can easily just that seven or seven. These are the same radicand. Write down them together. Two multiply by three. Multiply by seven. Multiply by seven. Seven into seven has made a pair, and the values which are making a pair will come out of the radical sign. So if we have seven, we can out of root. Inside the radical sign, we have only two and three. Two multiplied by three. It is left inside the radical sign. Now what we have to do next? Seven root two three is a six. It will be the answer. The next question. Okay, class. Here we are having another question. If we are having the different radicands with division, means what we will do if we are having a division function before the previous questions we have done for multiplication. Now here we are having division function. For the questions in which we are having a division function, means upon we are having root of fifteen upon root of five. But we have to do. We have to make a single root, fifteen upon five. Make a single root, then write down fifteen upon five. The both of the radicands will be written together inside the radical sign. Now, what you have to do? You have to check the values. Did you get cancelled or not? Five plus a five, five three is a fifteen. So we can write down root. Three will be the answer as three is not a perfect square, so three will remain inside the radical sign and it will be the answer. The same question related to this one, which is question number nine. We are having two root of twenty-eight divided by root seven. How do we solve it? As I have told you, if we have radical sign, we if we have a radical which is not a perfect square, twenty-eight is not a perfect square. So what we have to do, we will take out its LCM. Take out the LCM of twenty-eight. How do we take out? We know that it will be two ones are two, two fours are eight. Next, two sevens are fourteen, and then seven ones are seven. So two into two into seven. We are having these three. Factors of twenty-eight. Write down these factors in place of twenty-eight. It will be equal to two multiplied by two multiplied by seven divided by root seven. Next, two into two will make a pair, and as it is making a pair, will come out of the root. So we will write down that this two remains at its place. Multiplied by we will write down the two of this pair root seven. Divided by root seven, it will be cancelled. Root seven and root seven will be cancelled, and then two two is a four. It will be your answer. You can use another method to solve it. Like if we are having the same question or another another method, as the, as students are solving the questions by the help of some other persons. Like if if you are using another method, you can use that. If it is correct, it will be it will be considered correct. Okay, like two root twenty eight divided by root seven. How do we solve it? We ask like this question. We will make a single root here. Twenty eight divided by seven. We know that seven one is seven. Seven four is twenty eight. The next step will be two root Four and we know that root four is equals to two, so this will be multiplied by two multiplied by two will be equals to four. It will be your answer. Both of the are the correct methods you can use, whether this one or this one. Both will be considered correct. Okay, the next one. We are having question number eight. See this question: eighteen divided by Root eighteen. This is a type of question, a question in which we are having a radical sign at the place of denominator. We use a method of rationalizing. Which one? Rationalizing. What is this method, or what is rationalizing? A rationalizing is a method to remove. The radical sign at the place of denominator. 
denominator and how do we remove this radical sign at the place of denominator what we have to do like if we are having a upon root a we have to multiply the radical value the radical and the radical the same value we will solve multiply the question by the same radical and divide by the same radical means the process of multiplying and divide dividing by the conjugate or you can say by the value which is at the place of denominator is known as rationalizing simply if i use a simple word uh, means whatever the question you are having the denominator value take the denominator value and then multiply divided by the same first values is it understood so we will solve the question 80 divided by root 80 we will multiply it by the radical value which is root 80 multiplying by root 80 divided by root 80 multiply and divide by the same value or is known as rationalizing so next step what we have to do we have to do the multiplication whenever we are having two fractions to multiply how do we multiply we multiply them face to face means numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator will be multiplied together so 80 multiplied by 80 multiplied by root 80 divided by root 80 into root 80 the very first what we have done in the first step in the first step we have multiplied and divided by the same value in the second step we had solved like 18 into root 18 divided by root 18 into root 18 next if you see as we have studied or the solve the first or second question if we are having the same radicals they we will make a single root 18 root 18 Divided by root of eighteen into eighteen, it is making a pair. So it will become out of root eighteen root eighteen divided by eighteen into eighteen is making a pair. Means eighteen into eighteen will be a will be a eighteen square square. The root will be cancelled, and then we are having just only eighteen. It will be cancelled. Answer will be just only root of eighteen. Same as we are having an MCQs like if you are having a upon root of a, then what will be a root a upon root of a will be equal to what? It is an MCQs usually come in your paper. So a upon root a will always be equal to root a. You have to keep this in your mind. How does it come? It comes by the solution of this one. In the MCQs, we just only have to pick out the options. So you must remember, it is a rule or it is a method. We are applying the rationalizing method. How? It is applying. You can see first multiply and divide by the same value which is at the place of denominator. After that, we will multiply the numerator by numerator. Means eighteen into two twenty, and then root eighteen into root twenty. Both are the same values, so root will be cancelled. Only eighteen will be left. This eighteen is out of the bracket, so it out of the root. So the uh, eighteen by eighteen will be cancelled, and only root eighteen will be the answer. See another question. For addition, what we have to do as we are having question number eleven, twelve, or thirteen, in which we are having. Addition or subtraction function. The very first thing for addition or subtraction that you have to keep in your mind: where do we do the addition? Or where do we do the subtraction? And where it is not possible to do add or subtract the values? We only add or subtract the radical values in which the radicands are same. If the radicand is same, then We can add or subtract the question. Otherwise, addition or subtraction is not possible. Means you can see here we are having three root five plus eight root five. As both are having the same radical, so we can add or subtract the value. How do we do the uh, solution? Three root five plus eight root five. Solution. Next step: make a single root. With single radical root five, as both are the same, just only 
the value of which is out of the radical sign will be added or subtracted. Three plus a. You will write down the values which are out of the radical sign in the bracket form. Root five. Three plus a will be equals to eleven. Root five. It will be the answer. Same as you have to write if you are having four root three minus two root three. How do we solve it? I have told you. First of all, we will check whether the radicals are same or not. As the radicals are same, so we will subtract the values. How do we subtract? We will write down four minus two in the bracket. Then make a single root with three. Four minus two will be two and three. Two root three will be the answer. This is just an example I have written here. Say, so you will solve the book question. Ah, uh, it is. 